Recovering money in Franklin County, a recent audit found two former and one current county commissioner received unconstitutional payments. Yeah, it's all stemming from a resolution that was actually passed just after the November 2016 election. Today, I sat down with County Auditor Matt Beaton, who explains why 88000 is owed by these commissioners. An audit's findings now in the hands of the Franklin County Prosecutor. Auditor Matt Beaton says former Commissioners Rick Miller and Bob Koch and current Commissioner Brad Peck owe the county thousands of dollars. And it's pretty straightforward. These are the big, bright lines that govern what we do. The issue stems from a resolution passed in late 2016, after these commissioners were elected. In this case, if you don't take the health care at Franklin County, um, this resolution that was passed after the election in 2016 allowed them to convert that directly into uh, their payroll. Beaton says he started looking into the matter when he received an article this year from a policy guidance nonprofit in Washington state. They just sent out this insights, a bulletin, and it says, if you're doing this, be aware of these things. That's how it works. They're not a political organization. Beaton they says do, it's technically so legal to do, something. but in this case, the move went against the Washington state constitution because the salary increase happened after these members were elected. The raises weren't legally reviewed. The legislative body has got to be careful of that because per our constitution, um, those that are in charge of the public treasury cannot, while in office, increase because they're given the fiduciary responsibility of dispersing public money. And when the legislative body has that ability um, to spend the public's money, um, the responsibility is a higher bar. Beaton's audit found Commissioner Brad Peck received $40,000, Koch $20,000, and Miller just over $21,000. Current commissioners Rocky Mullen and Clint Didier weren't in office in 2016. Beaton says they've always elected to take full benefits, but they'll owe around $334 from a partial distribution. Looking at it in, in the rearview mirror, um, you know, we have a responsibility to recover any unconstitutional money. And Beaton says this matter is being treated as a loss, not fraud. He's made these recommendations moving forward. Right now it's with the, the prosecuting attorney and they're reviewing all aspects of it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to bring that back to the board to let them know. And I reached out to Mr. Peck and Miller. They have not yet responded. Contact information for Mr. Koch could not be found. As far as how the county will get that money back, Beaton says that process has yet to be determined.